All right, guys, I'm gonna be going hot. You ready? All right, here we go. Oh, Brandon. Brandon, I, I think I'm dying. Oh, Brandon. Sorry, Mike. Brandon, help. You weren't supposed to survive that. Who's getting to two million first now? If you've ever wondered how far the AK platform can be pushed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, like and comment. The comment section is out of control. We will get kicked off YouTube eventually. Not yet. Get in there. Make it fierce. Ladies and gentlemen, this channel is sponsored by Brownells, a huge supporter. Go down in the link right below. Go check them out. We can't thank them enough. Also sponsoring this video, we've got Leatherback Gear, Drink Hero Coffee, discount code GRAND at checkout, and of course, Alias Defense Tactical Belts. Go check them out, guys, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring this particular video. Ladies, gentlemen, my often forgotten, but most certainly not by me, Crinks, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a very interesting, do we call it firearm? Firearm. We have the AK-15, and to talk a little bit about it, we have the creator of the AK-15, Brandon Herrera himself, come on to the channel, man. Yeah, Welcome, thanks for coming in yeah, and uh, letting me, of course, get my hands on the Gen 1 about to be released to the public, AK-50. I am so pumped that this is coming to the public that they Production can purchase version this. version might look a little bit better than this. This is kind of a crude thrown together for Listen, us. this is what I got for review. You can't just change the rules. We're gonna be reviewing it precisely as we got it from the factory because we have to go into our full disclosure. So full disclosure, what is my relationship with the AK guy and with his company? He tried to pay me off. I took a little bit of money. <laughs> Not too much, so let's get into Not this. Not enough for a good review. <laughs> Not enough for a good review. You're in LWRC territory. All right, oh, okay. so, oh God, too soon. So, uh, we're gonna do what our Marines love and go tip to butt. I'm excited. I'm so I would excited. Love to go tip to butt with so, you, start, <laughs> start, if you wanna, do you wanna explain what the hell this is in the first sure. place? So, this is the second firing prototype of the AK-15. Gen 1. Uh, well, prototype. Gen 1 you know, being released uh, to the public. That's going to hit Reddit. <laughs> this is uh, the second uh, firing prototype we've done. This is the one that was uh, we, we were able to build up uh, just to see if we could actually do it with a stamped receiver. Mm -hmm. Because the first one had a milled receiver, and we thought, you know, I think we can actually do this stamp. So this How much did that receiver cost? About $60 of over-the-shelf tubing. Hell yeah. Uh, with all of our custom parts riveted on uh, very, very crudely. This is gorgeous. I love this. Did you do you have do you find that you have to pay blood sacrifices to Mikhail Kalashnikov every night because you have this in your shop? At least daily. Okay. At least daily. Fair enough. And so basically we have the AK operating principle. It is an actual AK operating system. Yep. In fifty caliber. For sure. It's a uh, it's a long stroke rotating <sighs> bolt gas op, fifty BMG. It even has uh, basically an AK style. Uh, actually, this is straight up just an AK recoil spring that we've added. Is it really just an AK recoil spring? You tell me. Yeah, so that is. a little bit of meat to the front end there. Uh -huh. It's a little different, but. Uh, That's psychotic. Yep, it absolutely is. We also have your trigger is a standard AK fire control group, um, actually unmodified entirely. Standard <laughs> AK pistol grip. Uh, all in all, once you tear it apart, you look at it, it's, it's, it's very crude. Um, there are probably Pakistani-made AKs that look a little bit better. <laughs> we're getting than 50. We're getting into Kyber Pass territory right now. Oh yeah, this it, is the, about as garage prototype to Kyber Pass as you can get. Love it. Okay, so I want to start at the very end right here, and the question is, who the hell made this? <laughs> That's actually just a grown-up JMAC Customs muzzle brake. They actually made us. He one. just scaled it up. Yeah, that is the only existing RRD50. That is ridiculous. Have you thought what is it? What is the threading for for that muzzle device? Oh, I remember it was kind of funny because it was because uh, you know standard AK is uh, like uh, 14 by one left mm, hand. Yeah. I think it's one by 14 right hand. It's almost it's, the exact. It's just opposite. I don't like that at all. It makes me extremely <laughs> uncomfortable. So funny enough, that's actually so when we fired this on the sled. It was actually very stable. So the brake, I mean, JMAC makes good brakes, so they're absolutely sure. fine there. And um, this is a really big barrel. Yes. Like, not, not big, but I'm talking like... Chonky. Girthy. 
is I think thick. the yeah, thick, the thick. girthy. What is this barrel from? This was actually uh, turned down from an old. Uh, this is such a cursed gun. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, tell me about it. We know we know a thing or two about that around here. But this is a, an M2 barrel that was turned down specifically for this. How did that work out? <sighs> it's still hasn't exploded yet. Okay, um, that, that's good. I mean, I guess my big question is, it looks a little short. So, yeah. you know, what the what we want to make sure is that we're getting good ballistics out of the rounds that we're using. So the 50 cal, how long is the barrel length that is needed to fully allow for that expansion of all the propellant for it to all yeah. burn? You know, what barrel length do you need? I think the practical length on it, I think the barrel goes to like 27 mm -hmm. inch, 28 inch, something like that. This is? I think like 22. So um, you're purposely trying to ensure that the people who buy this don't have good ballistics with their 50. We're trying to make sure we keep the most important thing in mind, which is that it just fucking looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'll, I'll accept that answer right there. So for this gas block right here, um, it's a monstrosity first off. Did you just yes. custom machine that? Yes. Pretty much everything you see on this that is a functional part like the gas block, okay. uh, front trunnion, rear trunnion, all that is just completely custom CNC. That looks like it's from Home Depot. This one was turned manually on a lathe. Okay. Uh, I think I actually... Did you do that one? I forget if I made that part or not. Mm -hmm. I forget. We, we, we took a bunch of old shit off the last prototype okay. to throw on this one. I like it. Electrical yeah, my favorite part is the electrical tape. And what's the, what's the purpose of the electrical tape? Because you look at it and that looks super janky, but there's probably a, a good purpose to it. Well, it is pretty pretty fucking janky, but... Yeah, uh, it yeah. reminds me of Elysium, which I love that vibe, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. This is, uh, this is, we actually used uh, zip ties at first. Uh -huh. We used a uh, tactical hose clamp just to keep the gas tube on because it has no retainer yet. Mm -hmm. Those broke off because they're too stiff, but mm -hmm. the electrical tape flexes just enough <laughs> that it doesn't break. That's incredible. <laughs> so I guess the question is, is where are these sights supposed to be, Brandon? How are you supposed to aim this weapon? We're Do you sight down the barrel? We're, well, you could. You definitely yeah, could. Yeah, we have. Uh, you use the force. You pull oh. down the blinder. You, you pull down the blinder force. and you just go for it. We're looking at optic mounting stuff right now. Mm. Uh, this one right now, we're just kind of focused on function and for trying sure. to learn as much as we can. I'm, see, I'm trying to be mean to you, but I just can't be mean to you because you're just too nice. Don't worry. The internet will do that for They'll you. Be, I'm used to it. So I guess the question is, are you going to do something like a Zenico kind of mounting platform as far as like a Picatinny rail back there for mounting optics? Or what are you thinking? We're really not sure. We've looked yeah. at like AK-12 style stuff. Mm -hmm. We've looked at a solid monolithic upper. We, we've looked at a few different ways of doing it, and I think we're going to try to do multiples. I love it. Just to see what works the best. That's easy enough, man. Now, the easy, the, the most interesting thing to me is is this guy right here. What is what is that for? That is the uh, basically save our life nub okay. uh, down there. So mm -hmm. we welded this stuff on so we could shoot it from a Bren tripod. Perfect. And pull a string. It, uh, literally an artillery mechanism. I wanted to fucking shoot it myself, <laughs> but. You, know. Have, you haven't shoulder fired this one? No, I, I shoulder fired the last one. The milled, yeah. Far too early. How'd that, how that feel? It was good. A sharp recoil a little yeah. bit, because that was back before we had it fully cycling properly. Okay. But, it, good. It fired. You didn't die. I am still here, at least last time I checked. <laughs> you so. are. Now, it does use Barrett mags, correct? Yes, 10 round Barrett mags. It's pretty awesome. So, pretty simple uh, backwards compatibility as far as that goes. If you think designing a gun is hard, designing mm -hmm. a gun and a magazine at the same time. Terrible. Not a, not a great plan. That's fair. Now, when it comes to this uh, magazine catch right here, the magazine yeah. latch, um, when Mikhail Klashikov designed the Klashikov, did he in any way think that it would be taking the recoil from a 50? I would like to think so at some point. But no, <laughs> not, not this latch uh, down mm -hmm. here. This is just a typical AKM mag latch, and it's why you saw the inertia mm -hmm. was uh, making this magazine not want to stay yeah. the gun. So I guess I guess at some point I'll have to have a stronger spring or, or something. Or a different angle. Okay. Or, uh, yeah, we, we're, we're looking at a couple different potential fixes for that. So we don't Incredible. have to include the tourniquet. <laughs> yeah, well, the tourniquet comes standard with the AK-50. Of course. Well, You'll see not, that later on. the magazine, though. <laughs> It's Fair. Potentially for the operator. Fair. Now, when it comes to this, can you just pull this out? This thing is ridiculous looking. The yes. entire bolt carrier, like, it's it's insane. So let me take this out. Hey, do you want to explain that, actually? This yeah. is really interesting to me. This is, uh, it's a little, it's ghetto rigged because we, uh, we deleted, we were doing uh, originally two recoil springs mm -hmm. uh, for this part. We deleted that down to one because we thought we could actually get away with one. And it worked. It yeah. turned out it did. You'll, you'll see soon. But this uh, block here uh, is actually a recoil buffer so that if uh, instead of just ending the rear trunnion here mm -hmm. 
Uh, we've got a little bit of extra travel, which this spring isn't quite as sturdy as it needs to be. Mm -hmm. We're beefing that up and giving it a little more travel. Is that for like if you mount a suppressor or hot around? Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. If you're running something that's super hot or you're adding a suppressor mm -hmm. to it, it's going to make sure that you don't beat the rear trunnion out of the back of the gun. Now, with the typical, with your typical loaded 50 cal round, are you how 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 hard back is this gun? Is it barely kissing it? What's it yeah. doing? When it's properly gassed, yeah. on something like 660 grain mm -hmm. uh, FMJ, it should be barely kissing that Just right there. So not enough to engage this at all. But if you okay. run something hotter, that's when that you, comes You out. got that little oh shit right there. Let's take that out. Yeah, love it. All right, now we can take the bulk carrier. It's like you versus the guys you told you not to worry about as you pull out that bulk right. carrier group. All right. This so. is ridiculous. My favorite part about this, and you can't really see it from my side, is that Brandon got Grantham earlier today because we were fucking with <laughs> Grandin. And he's bleeding all over this, so he's just christening I told it. You, daily blood sacrifice. Daily blood sacrifice. I actually forgot mine last night. That's why we were having some issues. <laughs> this is ridiculous looking. This is definitely chopped up. We've done, we've tried a lot of different shit on this. Yeah. This is our prototype test bed, so this is just we're trying Shut to learn up. more shit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> we, uh, this is our bolt here, and aside from the tri lug, this is very clearly just an AK bolt. So even kind of an AK styled yeah. cam lug is here. Very much an AK bolt carrier. Yeah, it 100% is. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. And what's funny is that the original lock nut we were using mm -hmm. for uh, this uh, bolt carrier piston is actually a, a muzzle nut for an AK. <laughs> so this piston, this piston is threaded uh, 14 by one left hand. I love this. This is, there's so many wrong things going on with this gun and I absolutely love it. Yeah. So it com we're coming down to the end here and then this is for, of course, the Bren tripod. Yes. A and so with the length that you need for the recoil spring, what are your thoughts as far as like putting a stock on this? Is it gonna be an abbreviated stock, I'm guessing, because yeah. you have so much length on this already? Yeah, what a lot of people are like, oh, put wood furniture on it. Like, oh, put a stock, can it take, you know, standard AK stocks? Like, well, the gun is bigger, but you stay the same size, so mm -hmm. length of pull is kind of a problem. So we're gonna yeah. have to put like a recoil pad or it's, something here. It's almost a bullpup, but not, because the, <laughs> the, trigger the recoil- The is still behind the mag. Yeah, the trigger so is still behind the mag. It's just a very long recoil impulse, I mean, using the AK system, so. Yeah, it's like if the Barrett's not a bullpup, then this is not a bullpup. Exactly, so. exactly. Now, I guess, so we've talked all the way through it, but I guess two questions I have is, yeah. the first is, what kind of furniture are you thinking to put on this, you know? We really don't know yet. That's one of those things that I think we're we're trying to not put cart before the horse. Yeah, I get it. Get the, the core of the gun working 100% the way we like. But this mm. next prototype, I'll show you some of the CAD drawings later. But I can't wait. This next prototype is actually going to be the NDA. Friendier. A Friendier. A Friendier. A Friendier. Of course, we're friends. Yeah. You know, we've talked about it enough. Do you think we're at the point where we could go ahead and take this out to the range. Um, I know it's kind of in a semi good state right now. It's had a lot of rounds. It's not, you, you're kind of at this point gearing up for your, your third prototype, correct? Yes. But is it cool if you fire a couple rounds on this guy? Absolutely. She's already almost at the three digit round count at this point and Damn. everything's holding up for like, there's a lot of small shit that's breaking. Sure. We never, want, we never expected it to have to get this far. Yeah. We've pretty much learned everything we need to about gassing with the cam group or whatever to make an accurate third prototype, I think. So you're saying I can destroy this. I would love it if you destroyed this. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out to the range. We're going to put some rounds on this and see how it goes. We are now out here on the range with the AK-50. Again, this is the model being released to the public within the proto about a month. The prototype. And we are prototype. so excited. To this is my video. We've talked about this. I get to do it how I want. This is still the prototype. This so anyhow, oh. we're so excited to have this out to the public really soon from the AK builder himself. And there are, of course, a lot of problems with this, but you know what? I wanna give you a fair shot at this, Brandon, and allow you to test this out. So, as we have done with many, many guns, the real torture test is going to be firing it. How many rounds do you think this thing can take between one and two? I, I'm going optimistic and saying we could at least get through like three or four. Really? Possibly. Okay. I'm willing to take that chance. What rounds are we going to be using on the AK-50 today? So we're using Lake City uh, FMJ at 50 BMG and uh, well, just to kind of spice things up a little bit, we have what is probably Ralphus. It was sold to me as Ralphus on Gunbroker, so Am we'll see Am I going to get Kentucky ballistic shooting this? That's actually kind of why I brought you out for this one, that if one of us uh, gets frag, uh -huh. uh, I was hoping we could stick a thumb in it. Oh, I'm so excited for that to be honest. Okay, um, is where is the dust cover? Um, MIA. Okay. I can't wait. Well, I think there's nothing better than just going ahead and pulling the trigger on this. So this is basically 
an artillery piece at this point because we're going to be pulling it with a string, correct? Yes. Have you shoulder fired this yet? Not this one. I did the last prototype, but this one, uh, after Scott had his incident, we decided, well, okay, uh, the insurance decided that that was not a good idea. That's fair. Okay, let's get this thing loaded up. Let's shoot it. See, it's got a catch right on that fucking nub, though. There we go. Oh, you ready? <sighs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're the one with medical training, right? Well, I quit med school, so okay. that's pretty good. That's farther than I got. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you're going to be the one pulling the trigger, so. Oh, my God. With the string, right? If you want. Is that kite string? Um, no. Uh, it's actually probably worse, but it'll, it'll work for a trigger pull. I love this very much. Okay, let me okay, attach so. this, and we're going to step back so we don't actually die. So we're going to go ahead and put that string on. There you go, nice and gently, perfect. And we're gonna walk this back and uh, we're gonna set the camera down because I don't want my camera guy to die and uh, we're gonna send it. Yo, we didn't die. We didn't die. Uh, gun no, hold on, hold on, this is a crime scene right now. Please don't speak yet. Come here, Micah, let's take a look at this. Why I am I here to give you that? unbiased reviews. What happened to that 20 I slipped you earlier, though? We have not been paid off that much. So I could see that the magazine kind of came out. Do you want to explain that, Brandon? Yes. So we actually knew about this. We just forgot this time around. It's a feature, apparently. Yeah, it is, actually, on the okay. Gen 1. Oh, uh, it's just it Gen auto production ejects model. mag, so you can just quick change it like Lucas Botkin. Basically, okay. yes. Almost that fast. Okay. But uh, what actually happened here is that the uh, we realized that the inertia uh -huh. of the recoil actually is enough to make the magazine release uh, depress itself it's and so the mag like falls out. It's almost like Mikhail Kalashnikov didn't foresee this being used, oh my god, didn't yeah. see this being used for 50 cal recoil. So it tried to cycle, Yeah. Uh, the problem being kind of seated the bullet a little too far. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, that's no problem. Bit I mean, of an issue. You want to see that. It's actually what it's doing is it's compacting the gunpowder yes. a it little makes bit it, more it, to, to... Makes up for the shorter barrel. To, to, Makes up for the shorter barrel. You get a little bit more power. Oh, that's you know? why you have the shorter barrel. He's yeah. actually, he's actually a genius. A he's the Mikhail Kalashnikov of our generation. We're not clearly, that, are we? Yeah. <laughs> no, <we're not. laughs> this, this is proof of that. Okay, and so it tried to cycle. It kind of caught there, but at the same so time, it's the bottom lug, the bottom yeah. lug on that tri lug, is what caught the magazine here, or the okay. uh, the front of the the bullet. Okay, and, and didn't allow it to come all the way forward. Is yeah. that is that good? So we're gonna have to. Get that out of here. Nice. Yeah, we just had to solve a little problem here. We had a stuck casing because it, mm -hmm. uh, it failed to pull out uh, the old casing. Uh, much like me, it has problems pulling out. Yeah, me as well. I have four kids. Yeah. Well, so we got this thing loaded up again. We have it tourniqueted from its little boo-boo it had, and it's, it's feeling pretty good, right? Yes. This is what made it run uh, when it was cycling through Ooh, mags. Uh, it was that tactical tourniquet, you know. So I understand that this is a very combat effective weapon. In a sense. Okay. Yes. How are we going to display that combat effectiveness? So we actually have some war criminals over here, uh, wanted for crimes against the lactose intolerant. <laughs> this is fucking shoot. <laughs> Oh my god, it extracted! Yup. It worked! Fuck yeah. What a piece of shit, dude. What a yeah, terrible but it's gun. A piece of shit. It's a terrible cycle. gun. So, are the tourniquets included with the rifle when you buy them? I was thinking more about including a functional mag catch. That also works. Yeah, as I think well. it will. Is uh can we have like an add-on for a tourniquet? Like the AK guy sure. tourniquet. I mean, is this thing did this thing load? I think it did, we can check. All right, let's uh, uh, The hammer's reset and everything, and it ejected, so let's see if it's still hot. Yep, that's a live round. Oh my God. 
So it cycled. It cycled. This is a functioning gun. Uh, almost. Can we, <laughs> can, we, can we fire it again? Yeah, fuck it. All right, we're gonna put the string on so we can get this thing firing. All right, got that. You mean on. you don't want to pull pull the trigger yourself? Uh, you know, you created it. Would you like to? No, I'll let you do <laughs> okay, it, buddy. Okay. That's it. So we're gonna stand back. We're gonna fire this like an artillery piece. All my M triple seven guys are super pumped right now. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. Firing. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Yeah. Here we're running into the same problem. It's this brass too. I think this brass is a little weaker than the Amex stuff we were testing with. Well, it's understandable. Uh, we can definitely blame it on the ammo for this one. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> So we're running into, so it's now a little bit over gassed. Yeah. Uh, because we had, we drilled up our gas port before we fixed our cam groove, so now it cams smoother. Okay. Which means it's more violent. Okay. But yeah, pretty so cool. we got a stuck casing there, uh, but it did attempt to cycle. That's it just cool. locked back on this round. No problem. Well, let's go ahead and move this. Uh, we'll get that out. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Now for the big boy. Time to see if this is actually Ralphus that I bought on Gunbroker. Three, two, one. One. Look at that, that went right through the center of that steel. And I think we even <laughs> might have severely wounded our milk jug. <laughs> right, so we fired the shit out of this thing. We killed milk, we fired a Ralphus round. A little bit psychotic, but what is really interesting to me is it's really not bucking that hard in the tripod. I think it's gonna have pretty light recoil overall, and who could have guessed that an AK would be suited for a 50 cal? It really kind of isn't. We are forcing the shit out of this to make it work, but you know what? It's one of those things where it, it's been a very fun project. Yeah. If it can be done, it should be done. Yeah, I guess my last question for you is, you've done all this, at what point were you like, I think I can make an AK in 50 caliber, and then you're like, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this. Before I knew anything, which is <laughs> yeah. why I tried. Yeah, and, perfect. Uh, now I'm just too invested. Now I'm just yeah. sending good money after bad, and you know, a at least it's entertaining for you guys. I do hope that this will ultimately be your demise. Like this is just the thing that drives you mad, and you're not able to function in life anymore. I thought you, you meant it. You hoped it blew up and killed me. God, that was too fucking soon. You're good, Scott. Yeah, You're sorry, good, sorry, sorry, sorry Scott. Scott. <laughs> but man, I can't thank you enough for taking us out. And yeah, um, yeah. you know, this is cool. And I guess, you know, our point always is, is as cool as these weapons are, it's not gonna matter unless you have training. So in the case of the AK-50, you need to have the force to be able to shoot it. But honestly, make sure you get training, guys. These guns are awesome. Get training on them. Be good with your weapons. Tons of great training places out there from Haley Strategic, probably my dad, maybe yours. Definitely we haven't, yours. Definitely mine, maybe yours maybe as well. Cousin, my cousin, something like that. Of course, we have Bear Solutions, Cogworks, tons of great guys. Any good training companies you can think of off the top of your head? I just build shit, man. I'm a nerd, all right? There's a difference between a swordsmith and a sword fighter, right? Yeah, which is why I am not much of a sword fighter. <laughs> I'll leave that to guys like you. You appreciate the swordsmith, and you do a great job. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you appreciated just this ridiculous video. And uh, I'm excited to see what comes of the AK-50 the more you work into it, man. So I can't thank you I enough for it, coming on the channel Maybe and doing a video. Maybe come down here, we'll have the new prototype. Can and I shoulder, can I hip fire it? You could be my guest. If you feel comfortable with it, when we get around to it, you can do whatever you'd Only like. Only if I can fire slap rounds. Well, I know a guy who might be selling a few for cheap. <laughs> okay, we're done. Guys, we said we're done, but what we always have is our dad advice. A lot of people look to you as a father, so you need to give these poor, misguided children your advice as AK father. Well, to you guys out there who are probably not my children, and if you are, please don't contact me. If you're going to embark on a project like this, please make sure you know what you're doing, or you're going to be five years into it and still not finished. <laughs> we got nothing else for you. We're done. <laughs>